체크했어요. And I don't have a suppressor on it. I'm fixing to, I have these suppressors, which are basically like hollow and they are pretty loud. So we put a suppressor on the Vector and the Lancer and it quieted down a foam suppressor. So that's what I'm buying next is a foam suppressor. But we're working on upgrading that so it'll shoot a better FPS than what it's doing now. I think it's like 380 was what I was shooting with. So we're working on that. And then like, here's all our stuff. There's Nick's sniper. That's my sniper. I think we're gonna try and upgrade it as well today. And then there's Cody's gun. He's been working on forever. Up there. What if I can zoom in? Hey, look at that. Getting better at this. And then there's our chrono. That's how we chrono and see what we're shooting at. And then Nick has a pistol. It's laying around here somewhere. Anyway, he's got a full auto pistol. It's HPA. And both their guns are HPAs. HPA. So. Zip. out there my Miata uh, it ran and drove to my sister's so what I was saying about the Miata is I drove to my sister's and it did fine got there stayed there for a little bit crank it up and it was misfiring so I drove down the road it got better and I got here fixed the fuel pump issue for the last time this is like the 30th time I've been in this fuel pump I'm getting real good at changing it <laughs> or pulling it out fixed the fuel pump issue for the last time and then once I figured out what it was still misfiring after we got done with that pulled pulled the spark plug wires they're firing but it didn't on the first cylinder it didn't change it so what I did was pull the plug wires or the wires to my fuel injectors and found out number one is not firing so I think I got a bad fuel injector so I'm gonna change it out tomorrow I think they just put it in front of that clip because so it don't slide out. Because they can. But uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> but we are in the process of messing around with my Lancer. He's really good at building guns. Real guns. Airsoft, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> We upgraded my Lancer Tactical uh, M4, which is really cool. Uh, it, like I said, it just got dark, so we had to come home. Uh, update on my Miata for the people who care. Uh, <laughs> it uh, it crack up and run just fine. I don't know, man. It breaks. It fixes itself. It'll break again. I have to fix it, and then it breaks again, and it fixes itself. I have no idea. It just does it. 
Um, so yeah, it ran good on the way home. You know, did fine. Stopped at several stores, did fine, crunked back up and came home. So yeah. Um, but now I'm gonna get the, I didn't really explain in my, when we were shooting the airsoft guns, I didn't explain like what I had and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, so this here is my evac bag. Um, bought it off evac, came, it's got like a little thing there. This came with the vector I bought, which we'll get into. It's just like a little patch or whatever. Um, I've been buying everything off of evac and, um, and I've never had any like issues or anything. So I just keep buying stuff off of evac. <laughs> now what you really want to see, so this has kind of uh like three spots but one of the spots is not made for it's not for a gun but it fits the vector perfectly that is this first spot i'm opening now i think this is just for like your stuff these are my old gloves that i'm not using anymore but um uh there's my vector <laughs> Uh, but before we get started into that, there's like a little spot here. This is where I'm keeping my, my springs and my maple leaf uh, hop-ups and just random stuff that I'm not using anymore. I thought I had my hop-ups in there, but I don't. But anyway, there's just random stuff. And then this is the same way. It's like a small little spot. I got my bandanas in it. And uh, I keep those in there. But on to this part. This is like the one thing you guys wanted to see. This is the uh, licensed Cress uh, Crowtech Vector, or Crowtech Vector, however you say it. But uh, this thing is awesome. You see me shooting shooting it in the video. It has a spot here for your uh, your harness that you put on, and I use mine as a sidearm. Uh, so. I run it on my side and I run my sniper, which is my DMR that, or the gun I'm using is a DMR. And then you get, I put this on because I've, a lot of people have told me to, why don't you just hold it? And I was like, well, I like this a whole lot better than I do, um, than I do putting my hand there. Cause I always hit, click this and it drops on my, my mag out. This is the Cryotech Vector, like I said. It's got a foldable stock that folds really easily. Um, it's a uh, single burst or automatic, which is those three there. And then the safety's up here. The trigger is really nice. It, like when you pull it, it's, it's like a, basically like a, you know, an electronic trigger or whatever. It feels really good. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, this is the other side of it. I'll give you like a cool close up of it. This is just your standard you know, $20 um, uh, suppressor. I would suggest getting a foam field because that's what I'm going with, with all of my guns. Um, because uh, Nick had got a foam field and it was really nice. I really, like, I really <laughs> like it. So, and it makes it sound really nice. So I'm gonna get that. Uh, this was an add-on. It does not come with this piece here. This is what I use and the red dot. It does not come with it as well. It does come with the red dot, but it, the red dot is not the best thing in the world. Um, so I would definitely suggest this is you know, 15, 20 bucks for a real red dot on any website. And then this was also like $15 or so. So I suggest getting that. Otherwise, a lot of people have told me to hold it, you know, like this and while I'm, you know, running around or whatever. But I found the issue where I was hitting this, the release, the mag release while I was running and it would just fall out on the trail or in the woods or whatever. Um, the mags only hold 95 rounds and if you're uh, spraying and praying you definitely need more mags i bought three extras and that seems to be a perfect uh if you're using this as your primary weapon it's a pretty good uh rate to have i guess uh, bb rate i don't know what how you would say that I don't go through all of my, I have like a half a mag left at in the end of the games that we play. And I'm usually running and, and spraying people constantly. It does have this little piece here, if you can see that. And all it does is, uh, the only purpose of it is to open the pop-up. 
and then you can adjust your hop up in there and then you just push down but you could also just open it if you needed to you don't really have to do all that but it's advertised to shoot um, right at 400 feet per second uh, I run tw that's with 20 gram BBs uh, I run 28s I recently started running 28s and I'm shooting around 300 and I think it was like 380 feet per second with uh, with those and so um, it does really well this this is really if this is a close quarter gun this is not uh, you don't need to you're not shooting people you know from far away with it so very good close cutter gun highly recommended it's very it is expensive but it's a very good gun to have so this is my Lancer Tactical M4 it um, it's a very good uh, starter gun this is what it's like uh, this is what's mainly bought when people don't know what they are getting into when they get into airsoft so they get one of these uh, is a very good gun to get into. It can be upgradable. Like, like we just upgraded my spring and my hop up, and it helped it. It is shooting like at 1.4 joules, and it's shooting, I think, 300 something feet. I can't remember exactly where it's at. I think it's right close to 400, if I, if I had to guess. But uh, uh, this was my first gun. I actually had one just like it and then sold it this was like back when man nick got into it like four years ago or whatever and i bought this one from uh jason which he was into airsoft with us a long time ago this is the one i, I bought from him i put a suppressor on it same 20 dollars suppressor um it does change the sound of it but it's louder which is weird and then that's all i've done except this uh this red dot came from evac i put it on here it's really nice except the low this is the low profile uh, the low profile part or the low profile thing to hold it on um, it's just your standard uh, M4 you know if I release it, it's gonna drop BBs everywhere so I don't want to do that and it takes stick batteries that go in the back of here I think you can upgrade all that it's fully upgradable like I said I'm gonna put the, what the plans are to put a longer um, hand guard hand the hand guard and rail on it and just make it better <laughs> i guess that's you really just all i can say about it but yeah just make it better and the final airsoft rifle on this list is the bullpup uh csra it's a it's a really nice gun it feels like it takes forever to shoot that's one thing uh, that's one complaint i have about it so when you pull the trigger it says look down that's what it feels like anyway but uh comes with like iron sights and stuff and it's really nice uh i put this little it's like a hunting uh, sling that i got from walmart for like 13 bucks and it comes with a bipod that you can put down or whatever uh, i've only used the bipod maybe twice uh, and it realistically it doesn't even that i didn't even use it that well i guess but it's really nice the mag goes here uh, the mag I bought two extra mags with it just in case. Um, but I bought two. I have two high caps and one mid cap mag. But the motor is in here, and then you pull this back, and that's how you adjust your hop up. It's in there. Let me show you a little better if it focuses in there. And then it was supposed to be a DMR. And they advertised it on the evac as a single. It's a DMR single shot. That's what I wanted, but. It in fact has full auto, so you got single, and I, I, don't, I don't know what these are. You got like single, single, and full auto, and uh, for some reason. Um, but the it doesn't have burst mode. It wasn't advertised it had burst mode or anything like that. But today I was shooting, and it was shooting uh, two at once, so it'd be like one single, single, single double single double double single like it was shooting two bb's at once and go back to single so something's messed up in it obviously but i do have a spring for it and a bucking i'm going to try and replace those this is a complicated gun to take apart so hopefully i can figure it out but yeah um gonna knock that out maybe tomorrow uh gotta work on the miata a little bit tomorrow 
um, to get it all squared away and ready to ready to paint but I am going to try to find time to do that. I also thought about doing HPA with this but it's going to be very expensive to do HPA to this particular weapon um, unfortunately. Uh, it would, I would probably have like $1,300 in this gun if I was to HPA it. This is what me and Nick was talking about the other day. But uh, I was interested in it. I'm still interested. But I'm not trying to drop a whole bunch of money on it. We'll see what the bucking in the spring does. Maybe that'll fix it up and get her going. Maybe it won't. I don't know. If it doesn't, I will be doing HPA to it. We'll just go ahead and build the gun. Just have a cool sniper. But yeah, this is, uh, hope you enjoyed the video of my endless talking on my guns, or my airsoft guns. I do want to make videos, I've got my GoPro set up to where I can put it on, this one I was looking for a helmet, I'll put a, my GoPro on the helmet, but I do have like a chest piece I can put the GoPro on and stuff like that. And I downloaded a bunch of, um, things off Premiere, which is like scopes. And stuff like that so I could really do some really cool content with this um, airsoft stuff if you guys want to see it so just let me know in the comments below and if you want me to do a deep dive on these guns and then when I pull change the bucking and stuff on this if you guys want me to make videos on that I will as well um, you know just let me know what you guys want me to do but other than that that's all I got